We got the first crafting upgrade of the year. We can complete it 105 times, even though the objective says that you can only do it 100 times for the full reward. So, yay. Don't know what's going on. The problem is that the packs that you get from the objectives are really bad. So, it doesn't seem worth it. But I'm gonna try it out for you guys. I'm only gonna show you the good packs. So, it might be a very short video. I made them all already. So, both the objective packs and the crafting packs are all here. Let's just start. The first pack I'm gonna show you, what are we getting? You know, chippy chip. To be fair, we started with an 85. And 85s are around 6,000 coins right now, which is more than one of those SBCs. So we're already in profit. And we can't even see how many packs we've opened. I think I opened like 10 to 12 already. And Palmer was the only one that was above 83 rated. And we get another 85. I think after like 15 packs, maybe 20 already. It's our second 85 rated. We haven't gotten an 84 rated either. So it's not looking too good yet. But we just need one banger. But the next one, right after, is a walkout. Oh! I'm trying not to look at the player. I'm literally trying to look at the lines. Otherwise, I would have already known it's not going to be Mbappe. And I want to be surprised. I really hate that you can tell it right away. I know every silhouette of a player already. But we get our first walkout. But that's a good pack. Second walkout. Goalkeeper. Unai Simon. But hey, I'll take a walkout. If we get them multiple times, if we can... I don't know. How many walkouts will be fair? We got two so far in probably 30 packs. I'd say if we end up with like six walkouts, I'm happy. Which isn't worth it at all since this costs more than 500,000 coins. Back-to-back -back walkout. CDM. Sure, Oberdorf then. You know what? Back-to-back -back walkout from these packs. That's really good. I say really good. It's fodder. But to have back-to-back -back walkouts, I would call that very good. I just double-checked. We only opened 30 packs so far. I thought we opened already more, but it's only 30 so far. So actually, it's not too bad with how many walkouts we got so far. Oh, we actually get an inform. Obviously, it didn't walk out. I think this is like pack 35. And we now got a few walkouts and an inform already. That's actually really not bad because they're like 14,000 coins right now, I think. And potentially, with Black Friday, it might go up a lot. Last year, there were 50,000 coins during Black Friday. So it could save us a lot of coins. Oh, two packs later and 85 and... Well, the same inform. But that's really good. We're slowly getting the value back of what we spent. Like, we get guaranteed 200,000 coins back worth of players. But these kind of things add up quite quickly. Another 85, I'll just show you it. Otherwise, it might still be a three-minute video. And 85s are worth 6,000 coins. So it's actually worth to show. We just haven't had a special card for the tunnel yet. Like, we had some informs, but they didn't walk out. But talking about walkout... What a timing! Lewandowski, that's sick! What a timing, by the way! 88 rated Lewandowski, let's go! That would be worth around 16,000, 17,000 coins. Just 20 more of him and we pretty much make the money back. Okay, we're halfway there now with the 75 times 3. We got... Five walkouts, I think, and two team of the weeks, and a few 85s. I don't think that's bad at all so far. And we got to go to Anthony. Okay, we do get another 85. That's a good start from the second half of the packs. Walk out. She is tiny. That is the Binya. For early in the game, she would have been good. Right now, it's just fodder. But that's another 88 rated. And by the way, if you go to the comments, there's a pinned comment where I ask you guys, what did you get out of the crafting upgrade if you did it? The more we share, the more other people know who might not have done it yet, if they should do it, yes or no. Walk out. CDM. Saka. <laughs> it's like one of the worst walkouts. But we finally get another walkout. I think we had like 20 packs without anything to show. We got 14 crafting upgrade packs left. And then we go to the objective packs. So the second half has been quite dry. But we still have 14 to go. Okay, we do get another 85. I just want one more walkout of the last 10 crafting upgrade packs. And then preferably one or two from the objective packs. And obviously the main goal would be a centurion card. But I kind of gave up on that. And we get packs like this constantly. This is going to be the last crafting upgrade pack. Then now we have the objective packs and objective packs weren't that good at all and we didn't get a walkout is it an inform maybe not at all so the second half was really bad then we're going on to a 78 times two that's not why you spend 500 000 coins especially if you don't get a walkout at least it's an 82 and an 84 could definitely be worse 78 times three also not a walkout and this one is worse then we go to a 78 times five not a special card, not a walkout. Is it at least 84 maybe? No. 80 times 3. That is absolutely trash. That is really bad. 81 times 3, come on. 
Also, another walkout. Wow, the lost pack gotta save us. At least it's an 84. I kind of knew from the beginning it wouldn't be worth it, but for content, it's always worth it. Hopefully, you appreciate the effort. And hopefully, you got more luck than me. Can we handle a bang? No. Not at all. This is like 550,000 coins worth of packs. And with the amount of plays you get back, it's guaranteed like 200,000 coins worth of like just gold rare players, which don't really have a value. And with everything we got, maybe we got an extra 100k, maybe because of the informs and 88 rated. So it was worth the risk, but in general, it wasn't worth it. Again, let me know in the comments what you got, if you did it, or if you're gonna stay away. I just hope you won't stay away from my videos in the future because there will be many more to come. Thank you for watching, guys, and hopefully see you in the next one.